All right. Joe Lee says, what can be a bad, what can be bad to ask from a guy? Um, I once had a woman ask me for $10,000 on a first date. <laughs> I think asking a guy for money isn't a good thing. <laughs> mm. Moscow mule time. Um, let me ponder that and I'll get back to you. You know, folks, I posted a meme earlier today on my channel and I wanted to share it with you because I think this is a very powerful message. And that is, um, and I think it's really important that we discuss this for a moment. And the meme says, bear with me, it's just loading on my phone here. <laughs> um, well, I said for some, dating is a form of toxic therapy because of unhealed wounds and traumas in one's past. And why I wanted to talk about this for a moment is dating actually has, is for many people, is a form of toxic therapy. And what I mean to say is they've gone through a breakup. They, You know, it's interesting. I remember, I, I, I have a habit of, by the way, doing a squirrel, so please forgive me. And I remember uh, an old saying, if you want to get over an old fling, start a new fling. If you want to get over an old fling, start a new fling. And what that means is if you want to get over someone, start dating someone new. I want you to think about this. If you had dysfunctionality in your last relationship and you immediately start dating someone new, that doesn't heal the past. That doesn't heal the past. All that does is suppress the past or blind you to the past. So what a lot of people are doing today in dating is they're talking incessantly about their past relationships. They're dumping on the other person. And the reason why I call it toxic therapy is they're dumping their problems, their neuroses, their fears, their anxieties about someone in their past, okay? Now, here's the challenge for a lot of women. And I did a video on this, why dating is the new form of therapy. For a lot of women, you hear this as music to your ears because you think he's being vulnerable. You think he's being authentic. You think he's being transparent. Here's the thing, and which I appreciate someone being vulnerable, authentic, and transparent. Here's the problem. Complaining people are usually in a toxic, they're in a uh, trauma loop, trauma loop, trauma loop, trauma loop, 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 okay? That's different. So complaining is usually oftentimes when it comes to past relationships is a trauma loop instead of venting. And here's the thing. You shouldn't vent to someone you're brand new to dating. You shouldn't vent to them. That's not being vulnerable, authentic, and transparent. Let me give you an example of vulnerable, authentic, and transparent. Someone asked me this, okay, recently. And I'll come back to this, um, the difference between complaining and venting. So I'm going to be very candid with everyone here. I'm going to be vulnerable. And this is my truth. And I'm going to be transparent. Is that I have a fear of being rejected because I'm not wealthy. I repeat that. I have a fear of being rejected by women because I'm not wealthy. I live in Los Angeles. And while statistically I make more than 99% of the U.S. population, in Los Angeles, I'm still maybe in the top 10%. And yet it still doesn't feel like enough. It doesn't feel like enough. So I feel um, like I'll be rejected for that. Now, being transparent so I, I'm being vulnerable, I'm being authentic. Being transparent with someone is to tell someone I'm not wealthy. I say that right up front because if a woman has expectation of being financially taken care of by someone, then I don't want them dating me, okay? I'd rather we commingle, you know, I'd rather meet a partner where two is better than one instead of one covers two, okay? And I'm just upfront about that, that's transparency to be upfront because I know women have a propensity to judge men based on their net worth. I'm not saying this is fair. I'm not saying this is right. It just happens to be somewhat biological. And here in Los Angeles, it's, and by the way, we are dealing with a population of human beings, men and women alike who live in their ego. Okay. Now, venting would be me expressing that. True venting is also going, what's the solution to this? 
Well, for me, my solution is to be vulnerable, authentic, and transparent because that's how I solved this problem for myself. Complaining would look like this. Oh my God, women in Los Angeles are gold diggers. All women care about is how much money they make. It doesn't matter if the guy is good looking. If he has money, he can get whatever woman he wants. That's complaining. Venting would say, hey, I want to share an insecurity I have. And what's the solution? So ladies, coming back to the toxic therapy I was talking about. People are complaining. By the way, women complain just as much as men. So women are complaining. By the way, anytime you complain about an ex-partner, you're complaining, you know, you are toxic. You're in toxic therapy mode. Venting is a healthy thing to do. Complaining is a toxic thing. And a lot of people are experiencing toxic therapy. Have you experienced toxic toxic therapy? Toxic therapy, please post a comment below saying, yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. All right. Let's move on and take a few more questions. Oh, let's go swimming. Let's go swimming. Christina says, that's whining. Exactly. (laughs) Um, All right. 